Division of Gaming Enforcement and the Casino Association of New Jersey, all gaming activity will be suspended as of noon tomorrow. Security, surveillance, and maintenance operations and personnel have been ramped up and coordinated to ensure that the necessary resources to protect and secure the casino properties are in place. In addition, there will be no eastbound flow into Atlantic City after 6 o'clock this evening. So for some reason, you were thinking about going to dinner in Atlantic City tonight. Forget it. Go someplace else. Um, but no further eastbound flow into Atlantic City after 6 p.m. tonight. Same times that we're dealing with 47 to 347 in Cape May County and Route 72 in uh, Ocean County. Uh, guests are being told that they need to be out of the hotels and the casinos by noon tomorrow. Um, however, guests who find themselves stranded due to travel, travel or logistical reasons will be permitted to stay and we will have an orderly way of moving them out. Um, there's a lot of other activity that's taking place in other departments as well. Um, let me go through that for a second. Motor Vehicle Commission offices in Atlantic, Cumberland, Monmouth, Ocean, and Salem counties will close beginning at 4 p.m. today until further notice. So to aid New Jerseyans who, whose licenses expire at the end of this month, the MVC will be providing an extension until September 10th for renewals on expired driver's licenses, identification cards, vehicle registrations, and inspections that will be effect that'll be effective September 1st. So they'll have an extra 10 days into September to renew any of those things that would expire at the end of August. The Department of Corrections has already moved uh, 534 inmates from vulnerable housing at Southern State Prison in Cumberland County to various other facilities throughout the state yesterday. We'll begin to move approximately 1,300 inmates remaining to Southwood State Prison after midnight tonight, and extra staff will be assigned at those facilities. With regards to higher education, it's been suggested to the state colleges and universities that it would be prudent to follow Rutgers' lead on rescheduling um, Sunday move-in dates for students. Uh, Secretary uh, Hendricks has advised the independent schools uh, to do the same. Lieutenant Governor is hosting a conference call this afternoon to identify the catalog of services and funding sources across agency lines to begin working on today and develop an outreach plan for business. Services to be coordinated will include small business funding through the EDA and the SBA, uh, BAC technical assistance and advocacy, DCA assistance, business service grants and assistance from the Department of Labor, uh, DOBE to possibly assist with commercial insurers and serve as an ombudsman in helping to troubleshoot problems. Um, we're already starting to plan for the aftermath, and um, the Lieutenant Governor is taking the lead on making sure of aid that will be available to them, um, both at the federal and state level, uh, in the aftermath of, um, of the storm. Uh, I participated in the conference call today with the President, uh, along with a number of the other governors and large city mayors. Um, we, um, uh, we had a good call with the President. Um, he assured us 110 percent of cooperation from FEMA, federal government, Secretary Napolitano was on the call as well. Um, and uh, governors from up and down the eastern seaboard and major city mayors uh, were on that call with the president. Uh, and he assured us that FEMA was engaged, uh, as was the whole Department of Homeland Security, uh, told us that he would be back uh, tomorrow uh, to also assist and deal with issues that came up state by state. Um, I've been participating on a regular basis in conversations here at The Rock uh, with all of our OEM participants who you see standing behind me. Um, we are working on making sure that we have appropriate evacuations for folks who can't evacuate themselves. Um, Jim Simpson, who's here, this Commissioner of Transportation, and Jim Weinstein, uh, the Executive Director of New Jersey Transit, uh, are working to supply bus assets uh, to move folks who cannot otherwise get themselves off of the barrier islands, particularly in Atlantic City. Um, so. Uh, we're working to try to use today. It's a, it's a sunny day out. Uh, we are using today to get prepared. And I'll end with this and then take questions. Uh, for citizens out there, today is your last day to really prepare for this. This is going to come starting tomorrow um, afternoon and evening through the early part, midday of Sunday. And so all the things that Director McKenna reviewed with everybody yesterday, 
getting five days supply of water, uh, a gallon per person per day, uh, making sure that you get non-perishable foods and have can openers to open those non-perishable foods, that you have flashlights and batteries to operate them, that you have transistor radios and batteries to operate them so you can hear news reports and advice that's being given over the public airwaves. Um, all of those things, you know, make sure your gas tanks are filled so that if you need to move, you can move. Because if power goes out, many of the gas stations, if not all of them, will not be operating. So we need to be ready. You need to use today to prepare. Today's not the day to go to dinner in Atlantic City, okay? Today's the day to get yourselves ready for what's going to be happening over the next 48 hours. Um, and so for those who are, um, who are working today, when you're done with work, make it your priority to get, get that checklist done of the things you need to have yourself and your family ready. Um, there is nothing that I've seen in the last 24 hours that indicates that this is going to be any less serious um, than what I said yesterday. In fact, um, it, in many ways, it's, it's getting more daunting because uh, it is barreling down on us now. Uh, one last thing, I also had conversations last night with Governor Barber of Mississippi and Governor Jindal of Louisiana uh, to get advice from them, given their experience in Florida and Louisiana, or in Mississippi and Louisiana. Um, regarding their experiences with hurricane, both preparedness and then the aftermath. I also had an opportunity to speak this morning to uh, former Florida Governor Bush um, and uh, picked his brain for a while as well about ideas and issues that he thought would be important for us to address given his experience in Florida. All three of the governors um, were incredibly generous with their time um, and, their, and their information to me and we're going to benefit from the fact um, that we have those relationships and they're willing to share that information. So, questions? We're, um, we're working again with county OEMs and the state OEM here to coordinate all of that. Um, also the Department of Health and Commissioner O'Dowd is assisting in that area as well. Um, we will, you know, you, know, you know, most of the hospitals in the state have a requirement to have backup generation available to them. Um, and so we're working only um, on those issues where we think there may be some potential for, for flooding and, and uh, damage from the hurricane itself. Um, but right now, um, the hospital situation is moving along an orderly pace, uh, as is uh, the work we're doing uh, with other facilities like facilities. Michael. You say that the people on Barrier Island off the ocean in Atlantic or Cape May counties uh, are under a mandatory order to evacuate. Uh, how about people on the shoreline in those counties? We're, we're going to have more to say about that later this afternoon, Michael. Um, we're still evaluating um, how, um, what the breadth of any mandatory evacuation will be, will be beyond what we've done already. So I'm not prepared yet to talk about that, but I will be prepared to talk about it in a few hours. And you uh, yesterday <coughs> said that you were thinking about mandatory evacuations. Is, uh, is it you who have ordered this Barrier Island evacuation, or is it the county offices of emergency? We've been working with them um, to do it at Cape May, Atlantic, and Ocean have made those decisions um, in conjunction with conversations with us. Uh, I could do it or they could do it. They made the decision to do it. I let them execute on the decision. But they were full participants in conversations with us both yesterday afternoon and last evening regarding how that would work. We've been discussing with them also this morning the whole issue I discussed about contraflow of, um, of traffic as well off of those barrier islands in Cape May and in Ocean. Uh, Atlantic, the Atlantic City Expressway is broad enough and, and other, uh, as you know, other roadways as well to get people out of Atlantic City. We have a number of different options. Long Beach Island is a lot more problematic, as are some of the places in Cape May County, and that's why we've gone to contraflow in those areas. Kevin. It was not, we, the, the President did not say anything that was New Jersey specific. He didn't say anything that was state specific at all. Um, he just talked in general about federal resources that would be available, and it was a call that was not done individually with any of the governors. It was a group call with the governors, um, starting, I think, with uh, Nikki Haley down in South Carolina and moving up uh, the coastline. And he had a number of the big city mayors. I didn't hear all the people who were on there, but I know Mayor Nutter from Philadelphia was on there. Mayor Bloomberg from New York was on. Um, and, uh, and the only person other than the President, Secretary Napolitano, and the head of FEMA to speak um, was Governor O'Malley of Maryland, who spoke um, just to congratulate the President on the great job he's doing.
yes. Um, uh, starting at noon today, um, we lowered the floodgates up there. Um, we're going to keep them lowered till about 7 o'clock tonight. Um, that will allow us to lower the water level behind the floodgates by about three feet. Uh, we've been working in conjunction with DP on a conference call at 11.15 this morning with um, as many of the local mayors as could get on the call would be affected by this to advise them of the fact that we we're going to manually lower the floodgates and allow enough water to flow out to um, lower the uh, water level behind them by about three feet. Uh, you know, so we've made the decision to do that. Uh, we're going to keep a very close eye. DEP is monitoring along with local OEM officials about the water staying within its banks downstream. Uh, if there's any change in that, then we may change the amount of time that we're going to keep the floodgates open. Um, but we have lowered the floodgates and made the decision to do that in light of some of the things we've learned since the instance we had in the spring. Um, the nuclear facilities at uh, Oyster Creek will um, will step down and close. The, 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 the BPU president has arrived. Why don't you come up here? you have anything you want to add about the nuclear facilities? They do have a plan and course of action for when and if they need to cut down on electricity. Um, there is some backup available, but they do have a plan in place. Um, frankly, they are in a position to handle what is expected to be received. From the weather, uh, they are designed, and what they have in place should be able to handle it. But they have a step-down process in the event that it goes beyond what we expect. Thank you. Thanks. Sorry. Beth. So okay, Stepper. There seems to be some confusion about where people can go to find out information about evacuation, whether it's the state side or the local county side. So where is the best for people? To, where's the best place for people to find out where to go for evacuation? And are there any plans? Uh, first, Beth, on the on the issue of evacuations, the first thing they should they should be doing is to be is to be listening to the listening to the news. We've released it, as you know, the, the evacuation information that we just did to the media. Um, uh, they can also call their localities um, and ask about it. All of those folks have been advised. Um, right now, the places like as we said that we're evacuating all of the barrier island towns um, in in Cape May, Atlantic, and Ocean counties. Um, Beyond that, we haven't made any further decisions about mandatory evacuation. All right, you've been listening and watching to New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. Uh